Ableton Live 12 has a ton of new features. I want to show you 24 small features that are going to make a huge difference in your workflow. I'm going to start with one of my favorites and end with one of my favorites, so make sure you stay till the end of the video. Let's get to it. Ableton has fixed latency issues when monitoring your recordings. We can show our track properties down here and there's a track options selection. There's a new option called keep latency. I'm going to turn this off on one of them and leave it on on the other. And they're both receiving audio from my microphone. I'm going to hit record and let's watch what happens when we record these two tracks. So as I'm talking, we're recording and here we go. That should be plenty. Now let's zoom in and we can see that the track up top has a little more latency. So there's a delay in when this was printed to audio. So now if we have keep latency off, we can preserve the timing and have our recordings come out exactly how we wanted and still monitor without any weird routing tricks. There's MPE on analog operator intention now. So I can play notes and get this per note pitch bend, which is pretty cool. That also works on tension and it works on operator. And I've got a clip here to show you how this works. And you can hear these two notes are moving in pitch while the C stays static. The track colors are also shown at the bottom of the mixer, which is really handy when you're navigating a larger screen with the mixer stretched out all the way like this. We've also got our sample rate in the top right corner so you know what sample rate you're on and you can click on it to change it. We can increase the size of our waveforms with this control here. You'll notice I'm changing the waveforms in arrangement view, but the actual gain is staying the same. So this is just a visual thing. We can even MIDI map this control so that we can just flip it on and off when we want to see what's going on in quieter samples. When we have the second window open in live, we can choose to keep our zooms linked or we can unlink them so that we can have different zooms for different windows. And this is really handy when you have more than one monitor. We can show and hide our different track properties using this drop down menu on the bottom right, but it only affects the mixer. It's not changing anything within arrangement view. In order to change those, we need to go into view and then arrangement track controls. And then we can show and hide things like our ins and outs or our track options or our return tracks. The shortcuts that used to work do not work over here. They only work for the mixer itself. Hopefully we'll get shortcuts for that. The master channel has been renamed the main channel and our time signature and BPM has been moved from here down into the detail view right here. Select the scene and then you can change your BPM and time signature for those scenes. You'll still get the little blue triangle that's an indication that there's a change to tempo or time signature but there's no readout here. You'd have to write that in yourself. So you can just press Command R and write in the time signature yourself, BPM 195, and then you have a visual for that. When you unfold your Ableton Live sets within the browser, you can view the individual tracks, but previously you couldn't get your returns or your main channel. So now I can drag in my return tracks right in here, which is pretty cool. Now I can't drag my main channel, but I can take my devices and put them into my channel here. So I've added these right down there. That's really handy if you have a mastering chain or return effects that you want to use again in another track. And speaking of returns, we can finally reorder them. We can duplicate them. We can cut them, copy, paste them, all those good things like you would expect with normal tracks. We can finally do that. That's a great addition. When we're in clip view, we can adjust the grid in the top right corner by just clicking here and selecting our grid. In the pitch and time part of the clip view, we've got one of my favorite new features, Humanize. I've got a clip programmed directly to the grid. I'm gonna select these notes and move the Humanize slider, and we can hear this change in real time to the point where it gets a little sloppy, but we can dial in the exact humanization we want in real time. Speaking of real-time changes to our MIDI notes, we also have quantize in real-time. Now, sometimes you like to quantize things a little less than 100%, but you always had to guess what it was going to be and then undo it. Now, there's just a control right here that will move our notes in real-time to where we want them, and we can also do that with the endpoints as well. This is a great way, again, to listen in real-time and decide just how much quantization we want to apply to our clips. We've got better control of our velocity randomization, so I can move the slider to determine how much randomization I want. So right now there's no randomization, but then we can just do it a little bit. And if we click the button, we'll get a different randomization, plus or minus 36, up to 36. So that's pretty cool. It constrains our randomization. Another great velocity feature is the ramp. This used to be a little bit more tricky, and now it's super easy. I've got this little snare drum roll playing, and I've got this control for ramp. So I've selected all my snares, 
and I can build a ramp just like that and hear the results in real time. When I have MIDI notes selected, I can use the keyboard shortcut Command and Up to change my velocity, Command and Down to bring the velocity down. And if I hold Shift Command, then I'm changing the deviation, which is the chance on my velocity. So this note will play from the range of 31 plus 29. So anywhere in this little range, I'll get a velocity. So this gives us a little more variation. It makes our sequenced, programmed parts sound a little more human. If you are using Live's computer MIDI keyboard, you can override that now by holding down the Shift key and you want to do something like slice notes using the shortcut E, you can hold down the shift key to override the MIDI keyboard, and then we can press E and I can do my slicing. Then I can let go of shift and I'm back to my computer MIDI keyboard. So shift overrides the computer MIDI keyboard. You can reverse MIDI clips with the keyboard shortcut R, just like you would with audio tracks. Very handy. A lot of Live's keyboard shortcuts are now momentary, so if I hold down the A key, I can go into automation, make some adjustments, and then let go of the A key, and I'm out. I can do the same thing with the pencil tool. I can hold down B and turn into my pencil tool, let go, and then the pencil tool goes away. I can fold MIDI notes with the F key, and then I'm out when I let go. I can fold the scale with the G key so I can see my notes that are in key, and then I can let go so I have access to my accidentals again. If I want to solo a track, I can hold down S and then let it go. I can use the zoom to zoom in and then let go to zoom back out. And the key's F1 through F8 will toggle the track activators. And again, these are also momentary, so I can hold down F5, let go, and then I've muted it again. Really handy, these momentary things. Same thing with the tab key for going back and forth between session and arrange view. Just hold it down, get a quick look, and let go, and you're back. Here's something we've wanted for a long time. We've basically got bounce in place now. I've got this drum rack set up with a roar on there. I can right click, and rather than freezing, then flattening the track, it's all in one command. So I will just click that. It freezes it and basically gives me a bounce in place. It takes away all of my MIDI, and now I have an audio track. And now I can do the fun things that we can do with audio, like I can reverse it, I can make chops, I can rearrange things however I want. And this makes sound design stuff so much faster and easier. One of the coolest changes to the browser is the show similar files. So I can say, listen to this 12 string guitar, click this. It's close to what I want, but maybe I want something a little different. And I get all of these similar sounding presets and the similarities shown with this graph. So the further down I go, the further away we're getting from the original sound. But it's a great way when you're close to the sound you want to find something else. And this also works within our drum racks. So we can click right here and I can now change my cowbell, for instance. Different cowbell sounds. Or I can change everything by clicking this arrow here and I'll get all new sounds. And do it again. We can lock certain sounds so that our cowbell now and our open hi-hat won't be swapped out. This is a great way to find new drum sounds. This also works within Simpler. So if I hover over here, we get this sound. We can get similar sounds loaded directly into our Simpler. And finally, one of my favorite new features is Sampler has round robin sampling. So I've got these four samples playing here and they all play at the same time. If I enable this new round robin button, the samples will cycle through to play a different sample every time I hit the key. And we can move that forward, backwards. We can go other, which is any sound besides the one that just played, or random, which means any sound, including the sound that just played, can play again. And this can reset at every quarter note or bar, every four bars, so that when your clips are playing, you'll get the same tr samples triggering. This is really great if you want to make very expressive instruments that have multi-samples. For example, if I had a guitar and I wanted seven different samples of one note, I can sample that string seven times, turn on round robin, and then get a different sample playing every single time so it'll sound more realistic like a real guitar would in the real world. All right, there you have it. 24 small new features in Live 12 that I think will make a big difference. If you want to see the big changes that will certainly make a big difference, I've got a playlist of videos available for you right here. Check those out. What are your favorite features in Live 12? Let me know in the comments. I'm Brian Funk. Have a great day.